Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd and I love real Star Wars. First generation Star Wars fan, EU guy, I will defend it to my dying days and that is a very important thing to do right now. Defend real Star Wars because we live in an era where Disney Star Wars is not real Star Wars and they are constantly trying to push George Lucas's galaxy far, far away, far, far away so that Leslie Headland Star Wars, Dave Filoni Star Wars can be put front and center. Now, I normally don't do this particular type of video because normally I'm not going to talk about other YouTubers. I'll trash stands all day long on Twitter, but I normally don't talk about other YouTubers unless I'm picking on Dermy, and you all know why when I do that. Anyway, but Star Wars Theory. Uh, Star Wars Theory, I will never, ever not doubt his love for Star Wars. Never in a million years. I've openly been critical of him in terms of I wished he had come to Jesus sooner on realizing the horrible thing that is Disney Star Wars. That's been my criticism of him in the past. I've said, please, realize you're the biggest channel of Star Wars out there. If you say something good about real Star Wars, people will listen. If you denounce Disney Star Wars, people will listen. And that was the extent of my criticism. Never had a bad word to say about him otherwise, because I never, as I said, doubted he loved Star Wars with all his being. Now, Acolyte seemed to be finally his tipping point. He finally had enough, and he has now been actively talking out against Disney Star Wars. And frankly, it had the effect that I hoped it would, but also the unexpected effect of actually stirring up the stands. It started with the Kiati Mundi stuff, where he was just, what are you doing? And then it got more with Plagueis in the finale, and now he's, he's, he's enemy number one. He's public enemy number one on the stands. Anything he says or does, they will immediately go after him because they're scared. Because this is their worst nightmare. Star Wars Theory is now actively campaigning against Disney Star Wars, and they know Disney Star Wars is crumbling. But what's the latest thing? Why am I doing this specifically today? Well, Theory just yesterday put up this, where he is now doing an adaptation of Dark Empire. Dark Empire, which is real Star Wars, whether you like it or not. Dark Empire, whether you think Palpatine's soul possessing a clone is stupid or not, it is real Star Wars. It's a good story, and if you want to check out my take on it, check out my EU Book Club playlist, it's there. But Theory's now for his eight-year anniversary, he's doing an adaptation of Dark Empire, but, but, the stands ain't having any of it. Here's just a list of them. Here's some of my top that I have found in just searching for about an hour. This, this genius, Star Wars Theory, has attacked the Accolade at every turn, only to produce AI slop as his version of real Star Wars. You can't make this shit up. Well, Star Wars Theory isn't making it up. He's adapting an actual real story of Star Wars, Dark Empire, the, the, the prelude to the Jedi Academy trilogy. So this guy is so stupid, he doesn't realize that Theory is actually making content on real Star Wars. But here we go. They all got the email. They all got the hive mind upload to say, oh, yeah, it's AI garbage makes the Kenobi show look like Oppenheimer. They're all attacking Theory. Here's more of it. Bro, it's so bad. SFM filmmakers do better work in their sleep. AI slop as well, making it worse. Gee, he just said AI garbage. He said AI slop. It's as though they've been told to trash the AI nature through which theory is producing this. Hmm. Here's another one. I believe this is an insult to life itself. Heo Miyazaki. Oh, he's trying to pretend he's a weeb. Again, attacking theory for just saying, I'm putting out this real bit of actual Star Wars because I love Star Wars, and I want you to share it with me. That's not bad, but this is, my God, it looks like shit. And then, dude calls Andor and the Acolyte low quality, but then uses AI-generated images. They're scared. They are scared to their teeny leeny tiny peen toes that people are going to go to Theory's channel. Theory's channel, 4 million subscribers. People are going to go to Theory's channel, check out Dark Empire, and say, whoa, whoa, that, that's a coherent, coherent Star Wars story. Actually made by people who gave a damn about Star Wars under the direction of George Lucas, Lucasfilm. So they might say, wow, real Star Wars is good. Dizzy Star Wars is shit. This is what's scaring them to the core. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Because what is it that the stands constantly do? Star Wars is for everyone. We're here to be positive on social media because all the negative, evil, toxic nerds, they just want to ruin our fun. So we're just going to talk positivity. And one of the chief pushers of fake stand positivity is good old Suggs. 
Good old Jacob Suggs, always saying, I'm here for positivity. Well, here he is attacking Star Wars theory. But he's a coward. He's a coward. He won't even act theory. So that theory knows he's under taking a pot shot. Don't want to give this specific creator any actual attention. But using AI to entirely create what you consider to be real Star Wars has to be one of the most ironic, pathetic things I've ever heard. Moron also doesn't realize Dark Empire is an actual true Star Wars story. Throwback to the time when this specific creator used AI to make Luke Skywalker's voice for the project, only for Mark Hamill himself to say he was never notified of that on public Twitter. Wow. This guy supports Mark Hamill, which means he supports all the delusion and derangement that we see going on out of Mark Hamill. Not a surprise. Anyway, instead of focusing on one of the most toxic individuals in this fandom, I'm also going to say, renew the acolyte, because it's a great film made by real, passionate people, fans that genuinely care about the source material, instead of generated by AI. Jacob Suggs reveals himself to be... An out-and-out out fake fan not realizing that Theory is paying homage to Dark Empire. That's what he's doing. He's saying, hey, look, here's a story. He's, what he's basically doing is doing a, kind of a stop-motion comic thing. It's what he's doing with his project, using AI images. It's just a stop-motion comic, and he's just going to go through it, all, the story there. That's what he's doing. But these idiots think that Leslie Headland and all her minions, and everybody involved are real passionate Star Wars horror fans. Leslie Headland, who doesn't know the difference between Mad Claw and a Wookiee possessed by somebody else. Doesn't get it. Doesn't understand it. Leslie Headland and her followers, who have to now push and beg, beg, for you to do a hashtag campaign for renewing the Acolyte. Because if a show is successful, it doesn't need a hashtag campaign to get a second season. So I'm going to say this in closing. Star Wars Theory did nothing wrong. Star Wars Theory is just trying to show real Star Wars to people so that they can get a taste of what it feels like. And I give Theory all the credit in the world. As I said, I've been critical in the past, but simply because I was, I was sad that he was not seeing through the horrible facade that was Disney Star Wars. But now he has all power to Theory. I hope he does more of this. I hope he pisses the stands off even more because they can't handle it. They're crying. They're scared. They're vomiting. They're, they're, they're just melting down, and I love it. I love it. And I hope you liked it, too. So I'm done here right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube where I hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about fake fans stand and SJW fees. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade, and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.